Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. We're in kind of a... a more dangerous, weird place that I don't really understand. I mean, obviously it's been a day since I played, but just looking over the stuff that we've got... We don't have a door system of any kind, so not only can we not vent stuff out, but we can't even slow down borders. Which means that if they just walk into a room that's important to us, we're going to lose that system. Like, the, the manning power from it. So borders are going to be a problem, and if that was just one thing, then we could kind of work around that. But like, I mean, obviously we're going to have to try and find a way to work around it, but it's like, we need more power. Because I don't have enough power for the weapons and stuff, and we don't have enough power for the engines. Obviously we could take this out of here and put that back in there. But, even if I put more power into our systems, there's no way, like, we don't have a win condition yet. And because we don't have a win condition yet, it makes me want to save up scrap so that we can get something worthwhile from a store? I don't know, I just, I feel like we're behind. Maybe it's because the weapons require more power for us to do things. Like, this is Sector 4, so I would like triple shields. We also need one more point in engines, and we also need power to make all this stuff work. But I also need one more point in power for weapon control so that we can use the heavy pierce and the halber beam together. And we also don't have any of the other systems. We're gonna need at least one or two of these. So I'm like... Do we go for a better offense? Because I could get another point here and then put another point of power in this and have the heavy pierce on, or... Do we go for the shields? Would killing them faster mean that we don't need the triple shields immediately? Maybe until Sector 5 or something? I, I have a bunch of options right now. But I feel like I can only do one of them right now. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion, so we participate and we get 24. There's a store. That could go over everything that I, I... This store is gonna decide things, unless there's another store right after it. Then that one will. You jump into a debris field that is you that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, it's an Engie... It's Engie Escort digs you for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. They have double shields, so can't do the halber beam, so I'm gonna put two into here. And... They don't have a med bay, despite being Engie. You know, honestly... We can't go through this. I was going to take power out of the engines. I'm going to put power into the engines. We can't go through this. Like, I would need the heavy pierce and the halberd beam. It will never be able to go through that. So, we're gonna, we're just going to have to firebomb them. They don't have a way of healing. So this is actually a situation where the, uh, fighting the crew would be better. Unfortunately... Ooh, if we don't start missing, if those don't start missing, yeah, we're already vulnerable. Thank you for the double fire. Hopefully it'll take them a while to... We're gonna get hit by this. I can't avoid it. They never miss. Med Bay. I'm grateful that only hit one. Ooh, they just denied our weapons. This thing's so powerful when you only have double shields. Our 34% evasion isn't working at all. Like at all, at all. You know, you're not really doing anything at the moment anyway. Nor would you be able to help against this, so... Probably be better off just going over there. No, miss one. Our evasion isn't bad. It's not... Thank you for the fire. Mort will leave there now. No, it's good. No. Okay, yeah, you hit an empty room. Or no, that was the one that missed. Shield's back. Also missed. If it if it ions, is it going to take the thing out of there or out of here? Because it... Hmm. Well, we're going to find out. You can bomb there as well. We missed. Honestly, it might be better to just stop taking damage and leave. But we've already invested so much into this that I kind of want to just... I want to finish what we started. Eventually, they're not going to be able to do anything with that. You need to get back here and fix this. We're taking lots of free damage here. 30 damage... Okay, they will never be able to fix that cockpit, which means their evasion's gone, so our stuff won't miss anymore. 
That's three more damage, though. We're still in the green. But now we can finally disrupt the weapons, because if I had done stuff in here sooner, like, they would have just put it out. And the last one will go over there. Their weapons are going to stop. We'll stop taking excessive amounts of damage. Yeah, this one was just loss. 53. Actually, maybe not. We're still early on. Hmm. That was actually a mountain of scrap for where we are in the game. There are a few more zealous in their custom checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. Well, I mean, at least there's Zoltan. Not going to want... No, we're just at a crossroads. I need to upgrade... I really, really need to upgrade my uh, weapon system. I need the halberd beam and the heavy pierce because they're all going to have double shields. And that means that I have to kill them with a firebomb. Which will work fine here because they're Zoltan. They don't have a way of healing either. We just need to make sure that they... No, they have a burst laser too and a... Okay, no. We're just getting out of here. We're just getting out of here. This isn't going to work. Where are you all going? You're going to come over here. And you're going to come over here. Yeah, immediately saw that as a bad idea. Never mind. We're vulnerable. I didn't get any super lucky weapon drops. Which is, I mean, natural. It's lucky for a reason. Can't always expect to get good stuff. You need to leave. They don't care about winning. They just want to blow up and die on you. You also need to get over there. Why don't you guys just go straight to the med bay? And you come over here. So we'll keep charging. One down, other one down. I don't want to take power out of anything. We need it. We're just going to have to wait a second. Okay, we got to the store. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species. A defense scrambler. That's pretty strong. Automated reloaders are great too. Hacking stun's also great. We also have hacking here. This does look like a run that would be good for hacking. So do we get cloaking or hacking? Repair arm. Repairs your hollow every time you collect scrap, but the scrap reduced by 15%. Oh, that's right. I forgot we had this, so we didn't actually get the 54. I was actually just wondering why we had a little bit more. But for the small amount that we get for that, I don't actually like this. I'd rather just have 25 more scrap. Maybe that was a good augment and this was stupid, but... I, I can't imagine less being more. Hacking, cloaking... Also, I never found out if that actually takes scrap from us when we're at full health. I think I'm gonna want hacking and... Hacking stun. I think that would give us a lot of options, and it would complement the firebomb really well. If I hacked a room, then stunned everyone in it, and firebombed them, they would sit in the fire without even trying to escape the room. So we're going to pick up hacking. We only have one drone part. We're going to pick up the hacking stun, because I really like that. And then we're going to pick up this fuel, and some drone parts just in case. And... I'll throw a little bit into repair. And I'm gonna get them all healed up real quick. Alright, we should be okay now. I realize that if we use them every fight, we're gonna run into drone parts, because if I remember right, last time we actually sold a bunch of drone parts to get some scrap back. But, having hacking, and with the complementing Augment as well, will be really nice, because we can take down Zoltan shields and stuff by just throwing whatever at them. And then we can hack them, which means we'll eventually be able to get through any level of shields, which means it is now possible for us to hurt any ship. Because I, I love the Defense Scrambler too, because then I don't have to worry about anything going over there. But now that I know that you can just take it... If you could just do this, it won't shoot them. So there's less of a reason for me to have the Defense Scrambler, unless I have drones or missiles. Like, if we're shooting missiles over there or something, then that's fantastic, but... Specific, there was another store. Specifically for hacking, I don't feel like we need a defense scrambler. You jump into the calmer part of the nebula. However, your relief fades as a rebel scout jumps to the beacon and moves into attack. So, I'm going to take... This will fire. One point out of here, put this in there. 
we're gonna hack the shields. And they're gonna hack our weapons. I'll wait for this to line up, then we're gonna shoot their weapons, because I don't want them destroying my stuff. With any luck, we'll get a breach, because we don't have evasion anymore. Game be nice to me. Game be nice to me. Wait, we penetrate one layer of shields. It doesn't even need to go all the way down. Boom! Two points of damage. That'll at least take them a while to fix. That's another thing. This is so, this is so cool that this pe that Pierce is one. I like the unique weapons like this. I mean, I know we didn't really use the Zoltan shield overcharger thing, but that's more of a defensive thing. I like I like the unique weapons. They're cool. That was a breach. Fantastic. I just, I like the value of hacking a lot. Because yeah, you have to put more power into it, but it's just one drone part. And unless it gets destroyed by someone else hacking your hacking, or... The system gets destroyed or something? I don't know, like this thing stays here. So it's like a one point, co one drone part cost. But it can take down any amount of shields. I don't know why I keep pausing. Like, they're gonna shoot me, so I need to be, like, doing other things at the same time. Another thing that I really like is that it shows us the exact power of that system whenever you hack it. That's really useful, because I'm pretty sure that even works on the Rebel flagship. Yeah, that goes over. Maybe we should actually go up, over, and then down. We need to get more scrap before we go to that store. We actually have options. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please! You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Really, though, if we don't get something super awesome at the store, we're gonna upgrade our weapons. Just having this halberd beam online with hacking, we're gonna be able to rip through ships. We have plenty of options now, and they don't have a way. Ooh. I'm gonna put this here. We're totally, yeah, we're not gonna use, uh,. Our laser stuffs. You're gonna come over here and try and fight? Then we'll come over here and two-man you. And I'm going to hit their clone bay. It's actually nicer to fight them when they have a clone bay. Hmm. They're gonna die too fast. I'm not gonna be able to shoot in time. They're gonna get that mantis back. Because there's no way the fire will take it out in time. Either way, it'll still be problems for them over there. This could be a good time to level up the- will you quit messing? That last fight with the- what's it called? The unmanned scout as well? Oh my god, were we missing like crazy. You need to go down there and help. Only a single fire? Double fire it! I almost want to lock them in there. How did you put that out so fast? Double fire! One person has a problem handling a double fire, and it'll break the room much faster. Thank you! That mantis is gone. And I... Mm, no, actually, he'll be fine. Boom! And now he'll never be fine ever again. You can't fix this room. Yes, we're blowing through the missiles really fast, but we're gonna get the other weapon thing online. That's the plan, anyway. Boop. 58 scrap. And we actually got the whole 58. Emma is now a perfect pilot. Ligardi is almost perfect on engines. And would have been if Ligardi was actually over there not helping them fight. You are all going to heal up. Hmm. This is gonna jump to here. If I jump to here, it would come to about here. Jumping down here would make that smaller, but then jumping here... Would we be able to squeeze that in? I don't know. Either way, handling them... Emma actually has more than 100 health. As long as they're over 100, I don't think they need to heal too immediately. Or else I'm just... <laughs> Until we get the double healing... I'm gonna be a little lazy with it. I'm gonna try and get more scrap here, though. You discover one of the Rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. Missiles! I have no defense against missiles. 
Also, I have hacking. I have hacking. And this pierces one layer of shields. You know what else pierces one layer of shields? A halberd beam. Why did I kill the last unmanned scout with the heavy pierce when I have a halberd beam that could have done four damage and it couldn't miss? Do you know how many times this heavy pierce laser missed? Do I, I just... I swear, sometimes I have a brain. Over there. And... I'm gonna put this in here for now. Are we gonna dodge it? We actually dodged it. I'm gonna take that out. We're putting, we're putting this in the halberd beam. This is probably gonna fire again anyway. I'm gonna take this out and put this in here, actually. Give me that 5% evasion. Yeah, I love it. We're going to start draining... That was... Nope. Wow, it missed again. Why do I not have the power for that? I took power out of oxygen to put that in there. I can't believe these missiles are missing! That's awesome. I know it's gonna hit me now. What? There's that that's like a lifetime of luck. We only have a 35% chance of missing. This thing missed like five times in a row. Oh you're gonna do that? It missed again! That missed too! I didn't even have the full... this is... Yeah, of course you're both gold pilots already. 40% evasion. There we go. Holy cow. Yeah, those triple shields... Those triple shields would be wonderful. Now that I have this, it missed again. Only one missile's hit us. And it hit a dead room. Get... Oh, give me a second. There we go. Really? The shields? They came back online for that? Well, whatever, the missile thing's down. That was... That was things. I should probably get more power. I need so many things right now. Like, I have things, but I don't have the power to use them. And then I need more things. And it's just all over the place. I need to get to the store to see... If I can upgrade everything. Because if there's something super awesome here, if there's a Vulcan, that could change things. Oh, a door system. Don't need drones. I don't want a clone bay. Door systems. Drone control's nice, but that's a weapon. A more crew would be great, but honestly, I want to get back into the green. I want... Honestly, I want triple shields. Engines. Door systems would do a lot for us, too. I'm gonna put one point into power because I feel like if I had both of these online, things would go faster. We would be in a better position. And then I think... I'm just gonna buy a bunch of power because we don't have the power that we need to do the stuff that I'm already trying to do. So like this, I can have everything we already have powered. Except for the med bay, but that doesn't need to be powered unless we're using it. So now that we actually have a power that matches our systems, I will improve the systems more. We need one more point in engines, and I'd like triple shields. We've got the weapons down. Also, this should go here. Because it takes a lot longer to charge. You arrived at Zoltan's security checkpoint, set up in a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit to crew profiling to identify fugitives of the Empire. You don't have time for this nonsense. Attack! Expecting resistance, their energy shield is raised and ready for combat. Missiles. I still can't do anything about that. How- oh right, one is- I forgot one was this. Yeah, just, you know, shoot wherever. You do you. Two damage, I love that. One damage, hacking down. They're never going to be able to get through my double shields. Unless a missile hits my shields. Now that's down. We could probably do this without hacking, or honestly. 
I probably should, too. I'm gonna wait to line this up a little better. Because if I use it every fight, we're gonna be in problems. I'm going to shoot this here. Oh, you know, the thing he just fixed. <laughs> and since that went down, I'm going to shoot... I'd love to hit the crew, but honestly, the 15 damage I do to them... Unless I... Wait, I could just firebomb them. They're Zoltans. I could just firebomb them. They're Zoltans. Hmm. This is the one laser that's going to go off? Because... I don't know. I knocked that weapon offline anyway. I'm going to take power out of this. I'm going to put this into the firebomb. And then, because we don't need to evade anymore, you two should come in here and put this fire out. Oh! We got their shields down a point! I didn't even think about that. Fire! Down completely. They're defenseless. And their weapons are back. Hmm. 40 health. I'm going to firebomb you here. And then I'm going to shoot here. Yes. Wait, no, that took the wrong weapon out. Could you please die in a fire? You know what? I'm just going to kill him. 41. Not bad. Distress. That does loop up. I don't even know what would be up here. I... Ah, I kind of want this. Another point into engines. Maybe another point into hacking. I'm gonna get a point into hacking. Because the way the hacking is right now, it doesn't last too terribly long. We'll get more bang for our buck this way. As soon as you arrive at the distress signal, shots are fired. Oh, wait, towards your ship. I was just like, shots fired! Oh, I'm being dumb today. Anyhow... You should still be safe from this. I think that's the two ion damage one, but it shouldn't fire fast enough or hit reliably enough because of our 40% evasion that it'll be a problem. Though this is a Mantis ship, thankfully... Wait, you only have single shields? I was going to say, thankfully, they're not rock people, so we can actually burn them out. Ooh. I kind of want to break that. Oh, wait, they have a med bay. I should break that. Double fire? I want to put another bomb in here, but honestly, it's already burning. They're going to put it out, though. I should wait. When they put one out, I'll bomb them. Ah, oh, you're so sneaky and clever. But not sneaky and clever and all. Oh. Breached! And they're willing to stick in this room. You're not fixing it. It's impossible. You're both dead. Perfect, and I saved missiles. Why would you leave? Yes, tried to put out this fire. Thank you for not actually firing yet, the like 0 .09 seconds that we were away from it. Mmm, no. Why would I take some of your cargo when I could just scrap your whole ship? That seems like a much better option for me. Where are you going to run to? You're running to the med bay? I'll finish you there then. Yay, Pierce! Now that their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. Zinzin, Zin, and Zinzin Zin is good at fighting. If we had a door system, that's where Zinzin Zin would be. I'm liking the rock crew. Five rock people. If we could get three more, honestly, that'd be really cool. I've never had a full ship of one race, and it would even be the race of this ship. The, 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 the people that made the ship. Obviously, ships don't have a race, I don't think. Or maybe they do? I don't know. You jump into a sector filled with civilian activity. Your skins... Are you... You are... FTL! Yeah, I'll make that trade. Exit! You arrive at the Long Range Beacon. You jump into a field of debris. It appears a recent battle took place here. And the loser seems to have been a civilian ship. A message was left on repeat before it was destroyed. Rebels attacking. Please send aid. The responsible rebels are likely still nearby. 
A flak, that's dangerous. And a single shot of a laser. They have a med bay. But that doesn't really help them over here. How about you get over there and help? They do have double shields. Kill. I'm gonna firebomb in there. Double fire, break it. Break it. You guys go back to positions. Well, they lost their healing at least. Eh, take that. No, it wasn't a double fire. They're gonna put it out in time. Wait a minute. They're in a med bay right now. Yeah, go ahead and fix it. You're done. Why haven't I been using it like that? If they have a med bay, I should just start a fire in there, and then whenever they go to put it out, they'll be damaged by the med bay and the fire. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it and get a system repair drone. Pretty sweet. Uncharted Nebula. Who needs sensors anyway? A store. We need to stay in the nebula and then come back out for that. Even if we waste a jump. I need to repair anyway. You spot a rebel. Oh, we actually got him. I thought it was like they escaped into the nebula. So... Oh, I wish I could see over there. I'm gonna firebomb this. Then I'm gonna launch this over here. And then there's two people in there. And now they're stunned in a double fire. Is the hacking still working? Even though the system broke? That's so strong! It's about that time of day where Jets come around the house to say hi. It's okay, we're at the end of the episode anyway. Um... Where are you guys gonna go? I should firebomb here. Or, you know, over there's fine, too. I'm gonna run out of missiles. But when we do run out of missiles, then I'll just switch over to the heavy Pearson halberd beam thing. Oh, you're, uh, both in there and trying to put out the fires, huh? Go ahead. Put them out. You can, uh, just keep trying to do that. Yeah. And then whenever that's, uh, fires go out, you can just, uh, fix this and then I'll, uh, maybe use it again. You know, from these doors that you can't escape. Oh, the fire spread into there. Perfect. Mm. Oh my god. You're that. The fire spread into here and destroyed the weapons, and then it spread back into the med bay. That's too awesome. Got him. 68, we're gonna have a mountain of it. Can't see anything. But you can hear jets. A transmission. All right, so. Now this is good at evasion. We already have someone that's good at that. Don't need a burst laser, don't want a breach, don't want a hall beam. Angie are cool, but I already have every position man, so that would just be for the blue effects for the most part. Crew teleporter, clone bay, mind control is cool. Reverse ion field I actually really like. Drone recovery arm isn't going to help us because we don't have a drone system. And life form scanner, I would be, honestly, it's 45 to buy a slug. You'd be better off just buying a slug. Drone recovery arm, not useful. Reverse Ion Field could be pretty cool against the final fight, but even then, the first time you fight them, it's only the first phase that they have the Ion. So we're probably going to be leaning towards a Crew Teleporter or Mind Control. We don't have an answer for missiles just yet, but this will give us more options. I should first get back into the green, though. I like to sit at least at the green. Oh, I can sell this, too. So... Before we start next episode, I'll probably look over this and then weigh in our options. We're probably going to be getting, 
either mind control or crew teleporter. I can't afford both, you know? So, we'll get something. Actually, if we can only get one, I should just buy all the fuel anyway, because we're not going to get anything else. I'll buy these drone parts, too. That's three more wins. A hundred, pretty clean. Ninety or seventy-five, we'll get one of them. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.